Hey, hey, hey! Just in a few seconds, you are going to watch a video that till now was available only to my paying students. But I am giving it to you for free. In this video, you'll learn one of the most important things all stages Google Bot goes through before it can rank your pages. And if you watch it till the end, you'll also get a secret free bonus from me. Let's go! We all want high rankings for keywords that matter. That's why we're in SEO. But before ranking can happen, there are other stages that Googlebot should complete. These are discovery, crawling, rendering, and indexing. So ranking is the last stage. As an SEO, you must know the difference between those stages and be able to explain them. You need to be able to explain what happens at each of these stages. You can easily be asked this on your, um, on your interview for for an SEO position or even specifically for a tech SEO position. So you need to, to get it right. You need to be able to explain uh, the difference between crawling, indexing, ranking, and rendering. If you can't do it now, don't worry. You will be able to do this after this video, I guarantee you. And since I'm not a usual uh, lecturer who gives you boring information, I'll explain the stages to you in a story. So let's pretend you are a traveler who goes to different houses and take photo, takes photos of different rooms and interior uh, of these rooms in the houses. In this case, you are like a Google bot and your collection of photos is Google's index. The first stage here is discover. Before you know how's that, how, like what house you need to go to, where you need to make photos, you need to to uh, understand where you're going. So you need to somehow know about this house, means you need to discover it. You can do it by yourself, intentionally or, uh, or uh, unintentionally. You can hear about it from a friend or someone else. In the same way, Google discovers pages by following internal links pointing to them, links from other websites pointing to them, through your XML sitemap, through your submission to Google, or it just revisits a page it has already crawled before. So imagine, you are coming to a huge mansion you discovered. It's amazing and beautiful, and you're very excited about the, all the photos that you're going to take. But there is a high fence around the mansion, and in order to get inside, you need to go through the gates. So they should allow you to go inside. That's what Robots.txt does. It's like the gates of your website that show Googlebot if it's allowed to crawl the website, and if it is, then what pages are allowed to be crawled and what pages are disallowed. In our story, pages are rooms in the mansion that you want to photograph. When you are allowed through the gates, you can also be given a map of the mansion. XML sitemap or sitemap.xml. So you pass through the gates and you come up to the mansion. At first, you look through the windows to see the rooms inside. You see one room, you notice how beautiful it is. There is a green couch with three pillows and a knitted blanket there. Very cozy. Uh, you also notice a small table uh, near this couch and um, a variety of different, different journals on this table. You see all the details of this room, but you haven't entered this room yet, and you're still not sure if you are allowed, if you can take photo of this room. And at this point, you just can picture in your head what this room is like. This is rendering. So rendering is how Google sees the content of your page from a user's perspective. In addition to simple HTML, Google also fetches CSS, JavaScript, and multimedia resources in order to render a page using the recent version of Google um, of Chrome browser. It's also known as Evergreen uh, Googlebot. We'll talk much more about rendering when we are going to talk about JavaScript SEO later in the course. Okay. Now, in order to finally take a photo of the rooms, you need to go inside the mansion and check what rooms are open. This is indexing. 
you might find that some rooms are closed and you can't enter them. That's because they have a no index mat robots tag. So you can enter only those rooms that have meta tag, uh, meta robots tag set to index. That's true for Google Bot too. It can only index those pages that have meta robots tag set to index. So you enter one of the rooms and while you're in the room, you can take photos so that you can save them for later in your album. The same way that Google stores pages in its collection or its index. In the end, you checked all the rooms that um, that were allowed, that had index tag on them and you made photos. You're excited and you come back and put all those photos in your albums. And when you, the next time your friends ask you, well, hey, can you show me the photos of green couches? Or show me the photos of rooms with old fashioned designs. You can pull, uh, pull out these photos and like show them to your friends. That's ranking. That's serving search results based on query, website relevancy to the search results or page relevancy to the, to the search results, uh, quality of the website and other ranking factors. And there is one interesting thing here. Um, crawling and indexing are very different. And I know that so many people get it wrong. But here is the thing. When Google already crawled a website and indexed a page, even if you change your robots.txt file saying uh, that this page will be disallowed for crawling, the page will still be in Google. The same way, if you've already entered the mansion, if you've already taken the photos of all the rooms that are out there uh, that were allowed and uh, where Metro Robots Tax was set to index, right? We remember that. So if you already store these photos in your albums, even if the gates to the mansion close, it doesn't matter. These photos are already in your albums and there is nothing you can do about this. So in a nutshell, there are five steps for Google to process a page. It first needs to discover a page, then it needs to crawl and render the content on the page. And then if indexing is allowed, it will index a page and store it in its uh, index or collection of all the pages. And then Google will rank the pages based on uh, different ranking factors. Um, yeah, so in a nutshell, these are uh, five steps. And as a technical SEO, and this is really important, as a technical SEO, you have the power to control these stages. And we are going to talk more about controlling these stages in the, in the next model. But for now, you need to know that you have the power over it. You can, it means that you can optimize the process. Let me know what you think about this lesson. Let me know about your, uh, what you think about the example they uh, gave you. And um, yeah, hit me up on social media, uh, mention me and let me know about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as promised, I have a bonus for you. One more video where I'll explain technical SEO to you in an easy way. You learn three pillars of technical SEO there. This video is not available anywhere else for free. It's not on YouTube or on my website, but you can get it. Just go to techseo.pro slash training, fill in the form, and I'll send the video to you right away. techseo.pro slash training. See you there.